Um, two days ago, I made that movie discussing what happened with Elter, and, um, yeah, I, I got done with that movie, and took a shower, and, uh, trimmed my hair, and, I mean, I knew that this was affecting me a lot, but the making that really was difficult, and it stressed me out so bad. I don't know if that's why. Uh, since then, I've just had the worst migraines. I mean, I woke up this morning with a horrible migraine. I took the medicine, and thankfully the medicine kicked in, so now I'm feeling a little bit better, but like, my head is pounding. Um, so I'm going to try and make some more movies about uh, history. I wanted to discuss I was going to discuss the the role of hierarchy within history, uh, starting with the events of recent uh, events in the United States, and then go back from there, talk about Columbus and the institution of, oh goodness, mercantilism, capitalism, and the mentality that... Uh, individual choice can solve social problems when we do not have a complete worldview on how individual choice uh, interacts and forms the complex relationships of society. Um, a lot of people have this view that somehow their choices can be ignored when it comes to social problems like poverty, violence, uh, over-policing, under-representation, um, lawlessness, and international cooperation. And all those things seem like they are disparate, but they're really not they're connected due to the way that people choose to live, the kinds of uh, relationships that we create, and how those relationships build on each other to form social groups that then form larger communities which form society, and society has been artificially hacked up into these nation states and hierarchies put in place that it is sad that we think that cutting everything into smaller and smaller pieces is going to solve the issue rather than realizing that it's a complex issue and has to be viewed in its complexity. So you can understand parts of its complexity by looking at little pieces, but if you then don't put those smaller pieces together, and form a larger worldview and a framework to work by, you're never going to get anywhere. And that's why we'll never see changes with people like Bill Gates. He made his money by investing and understanding the hierarchical systems of business and Wall Street. He's now trying to apply that understanding to problems that are intrinsic to the institutions that support his wealth. So the idea that he is somehow bringing new thought or or bringing in something good is just false on its face. He's simply scattering that mentality and using the top-down mentality to try and solve problems that need to be solved bottom-up. So, 
you know, history can teach us a lot. And what it should teach us is to stop trusting these idiots. Because they're just lying to us. They're going to leave us holding the bill. All they care about is their own position, wealth, authority, and the freedom to feel good about using their wealth. And that's really what it's all about for Bill Gates, this whole humanitarian thing. It's about feeling good so that he can feel like he deserves what he has. Because he doesn't. None of them do. If they were to be honest with people, they would say, I knew exactly what was going on. I knew how the accumulation of wealth works. But because the system is there and I benefit from it, I have a mentality that it must exist and that its existence is somehow not in and of itself the problem.